wanted to share with you a project that I did. We have this spot in our yard where we have planted stuff in the past and nothing seems to want to grow there. We used to put flowers there and the weeds would take them over and it never looked very good. So we've decided that we're going to put a water feature here. We're going to install a pondless fountain right here. First start by digging a hole for this this catch basin. Uh, this catch basin is about 12 inches by 12 inches and it's about 12 inches deep as well. But it's about the right size for the, the pump that I'm going to be using. I'm digging this in the springtime. We have just red clay here in our yard and if you don't dig early in the spring when the ground is still soft you can't dig in the summer it's just too hard so I've caught it at the right time the ground's fairly soft so I'm able to to dig fairly easy I'll put a link in the description for this this catch basin. So now that I've got my hole the size that it needs to be for the catch basin, now I'm going to dig a trench along from the catch basin over to where my fountain is going to be at so that I can run the water pipe from the pump over to the fountain. And I'm placing the dirt around the edge to where it will be higher around the edges of where I'm going to put my liner so that the water doesn't run beyond the, the fountain. Just got to do a little leveling up here and like I said build it up all the way around so that I don't, I'm not wasting water running out across the ground as well as when it rains I don't have to worry about ground water running into the fountain. Uh, it'll have to go up and over the liner before it can get in there. And this is the liner that I'm using. It's kind of a rubber material. They have some liners that are a PVC plastic type stuff. I would not recommend those. You need to find something like this that's more of a, a rubberized liner. I'll have a link in the description below because this is very flexible and easy to work with. Uh, I would not have been able to push the other types of liner down into this hole where the catch basin is. Now I'm running the hose through the catch basin and attaching it to the pump. And I'll have a description, uh, a link in the description below uh, for the pump and this hose. And I got these pots from Home Depot, and I'm going to use them as the actual fountain. Just putting some bricks in there to hold up the, uh, the top pot that I'm going to put on. And after I get it, the hose run all the way, I cut it the length it needs to be. Then I run a power cord around to where the the plug is for the my pump, and I ran the the cord right along with the the water pipe and out behind the fountain, 
and I'm going to take and fill it up now with water just to make sure everything's working the way I want it to. And so now I've got enough water in it that I can plug the pump in and let it start filling. So it's going to fill up the uh, two pots and then it'll start spilling over and running back down to the catch basin. And this is what it looks like at this point. I'm going to put some river stone all over this area. We found some river stone at a local landscaping company and I went and bought a pickup truck full of it and I just shoveling it out of my truck into the fountain now we had to wash the uh, river stone it was full of sand and dirt and it was gonna make the fountain really muddy looking if we didn't wash it so as I take a shovel off of the truck my wife is standing there off camera uh, with a hose and she's washing the dirt out of the shovel and then I put it on here. This is the longest process of the whole build was just washing the gravel and putting it in here. If I didn't have to wash the gravel it would have went a lot faster but this river stone gravel that I'm putting in here it had to be washed before we put it in here because I just would not have been satisfied with it. So we, we moved the truck over a little closer and get a different angle on the camera because I was having to take too many steps between the truck and the fountain with that shovel full of gravel. So this speeded it up a little bit more. This whole project, it only took us one day to do it from start to finish. Um, it wasn't that big of a project. And this is pretty much it. I added some plastic around the both ends where the pond liner didn't cover. I just put some regular plastic down there and put the, the rock on top of it to kind of help keep the grass from coming up through the rock. So this is the, the finished product here and I think it turned out real well. My wife is very pleased with it. Hopefully it'll it'll look good for a long time. It'll be a lot less maintenance than what it was before with trying to keep the grass and weeds out of it. We've added a, another pot at the base of it, as well as a, a cement stump there with a turtle on it. Just to kind of add a little more decoration to it. And we also purchased some lights and put out in front of it so it would shine on it at night. So this is what it looks like at night. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video and thanks for watching.